Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good morning everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, weekend update show. Hope everybody is having a beautiful, beautiful uh, Saturday. I'm not sure where you guys are going to see this broadcast, but uh, it is around, around 1 o'clock uh, Saturday afternoon. Hope beautiful, beautiful day. So get rid of this, uh, get rid of this uh, nightly video, get ready for the week. And I can enjoy my weekend. So if you are brand new to the channel, guys, if you can just do me a quick favor, like the, cha uh, like the channel, like the video, share, subscribe, and I would really, really appreciate that. Other than that, just sit back, relax, and thank you very much uh, for spending a couple of minutes of your time. So I, I was going to avoid this. I really wanted to avoid this. And you guys know kind of what I'm talking about, this whole um, GameStop thing, um, you know, the market by itself, you know, doing great. Uh, Dow up three tenths of a percent, S and P up one point three percent for the week. Uh, Nasdaq continues to climb two point four percent for the week. Uh, you know, the usual suspects. They're all doing very, very well. Uh, Apple uh, continues to break out. Uh, Amazon had a nice move on Friday before a little bit of late uh, day sell off. Um, you have. You know names. Uh, you have names uh, like uh, you know names that Meta uh, broke out this week. If you watch the broadcast, uh, you know how important that level was. Give us two really good opportunities this week on Meta. Hit this 502 area uh, into supply. Uh, you know, look overall, the market is very healthy. And, and like I said, I, I tried everything in my power uh, to avoid the subject. But we know we got to talk about it, right? So nobody cared basically on Friday uh, what was going on everywhere else. Uh, today, Friday was the last day before N Nvidia uh, split ten for one as of a close on Friday. You'll see that adjusted on Monday. Um, that, that everybody just wanted to talk about and see what was going to happen with the greatest reality show that, well, technically was on television if you watched YouTube. Uh, or on your phone, whatever, uh, was GameStop. And, you know, usually this is something that I wouldn't even, you know, spend 30 seconds on. But, you know, this was one of those situations like, where were you when Roaring Kitty went on YouTube? Now, be before, before we address this, right, before we address this, I, I, I want to make it perfectly clear. I don't think there was a single trade in the history of the retail public. Okay. When I mean retail public, non institutional entity, non hedge fund, non mutual fund, um, in that capacity, an individual investor. So I don't think there was an, a bigger trade in the history of the world than what this guy did. Okay. He turned basically 40 grand and at one point uh, on paper going into, Friday session, he was worth roughly about a billion dollars. In in incredible. The guy has a nutsack that is bigger than a two bowling balls. Uh, I respect his unbelievable conviction. I, res I respect everything the guy done. Okay, let's put that aside. So everybody, right? Everybody remembers if you were old enough in the 19, whatever it was, 60s, 70s, Everybody remembers when uh, John Kennedy was assassinated. Where were you when John Kennedy was assassinated? I, obviously, I wasn't born yet. Um, but everybody remembers where they were. Yesterday, I think every trader, no matter you know, passive, aggressive, casual experience was when you saw a roaring kitty hit YouTube. So let's briefly discuss this. So GameStop was going nuts. Friday morning, uh, it was... At $63, $65 a share. Then they came out with earnings, right? They came out earnings. The earnings weren't great. But honestly, I thought the market would have embraced the crappy earnings. Too much momentum, way too much momentum. Uh, and then they did a $75 million offering, right? Which basically dilutes the shares, puts more money on their books, but dilutes the shares. And the stock basically went from the 60s all the way down to 20s. 
But that wasn't even the big story. The big story was everyone at 12 o'clock tuned in to watch Roaring Kitty. And the question was, was it going to be actually him? Or was it going to be like a hologram, AI-driven thing? Uh, was it going to be uh, just a blank screen with a cat on it? What was going to happen? Guy finally shows up 30 minutes late. The amazing part is there was like five, 600,000 people waiting to see what he was going to say. And let me, again, kudos to this guy. Absolute kudos. Has made a fortune. Conviction out the wall. This dude looked like he was a character on like a Cheech and Chong movie, half-baked. This guy looked like he was so blazed out of his mind. The weed that he was smoking must have been so damn good because it was the most cringe initial seven to 10 minutes of my life. I, I couldn't take it anymore. Okay. This guy was giggling. This guy was all over the place. He was slurring his words. He was making no sense whatsoever. Every single time, <laughs> every single time the stock kept on going down, he was laughing. And all I kept on thinking is, I don't know how you guys are, but I'm, you know, I'm like, if I see a position of mine, you know, go up two, three dollars, and this is coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. I start getting angry, right? I start getting angry. I start getting disappointed. This guy's losing hundreds of millions of dollars, and he's just laughing his head off, just absolutely laughing his hair off. And for a person like me, I just kept on getting more angrier and angrier and angrier. This is happening. And I'm like, I can't believe this is real. There's no possible way this guy is just this loosey goosey. This guy was worth a billion dollars like six hours ago on paper. He's lost like six, seven hundred million dollars here in just in the last three hours. How can he not give a F? So I turned it off and couldn't take it anymore. It just got me so stressed. I don't know. Leave me, leave me comments. Let me know how, how you guys were thinking. But this thing got me super duper stressed. I couldn't take it anymore. I finally logged in for the last five minutes. I just wanted to see how, how the, you know, how the how the, 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 the traffic, you know, how the traffic accident was going to end. And all I saw was this dude sitting there with an eight ball, literally with an eight ball saying, oh, let's see what happens as the stock is just getting, is, is imploding. I, <laughs> the biggest debauchery I've ever seen. I, I, look, I, I don't know how you guys feel. Uh, I, it was the most cringe thing um, I've seen in a very, very long time. Look, I, I don't know how this movie is going to end. Is GameStop going to go back to 10? Is this thing going to be completely... Uh, you know, uh, going back to the 40s, 50s area, your guess is as good as mine. I am leaving this thing alone. I couldn't care less. This thing gave us a few pivots throughout the week. Uh, some of you guys I know had it overnight Thursday to Friday. I know you guys made some sales after hours, and that's fantastic. This stock and him uh, definitely has changed a lot of traders' accounts for the good, right? So I can't say a bad thing about uh, what he's done financially. But boy, oh boy, it was a hard watch. It really was a hard watch. It's like it's like trying to look away from a car crash, and you just can't do it. I'm 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 surprised they even lasted the first five seven minutes. That's what she said. Um, but it was it was terrible. Absolutely, in my opinion, uh, it was absolutely terrible. So if you are in this thing, we made money on this thing. Congratulations. Uh, this is this stock will definitely go back into his go down in history books. One of the craziest things ever. Uh, Roaring Kitty will definitely go down in the history books as being arguably one of the genius investors of all time, right? A little bit of crazy, a lot of crazy always translates into something wonderful. So kudos to him. But that YouTube watch boy, cringe, baby, cringe. Very, very cringe. Other than that, you know, let's kind of move along. Uh, other than that, you know, business as usual, uh, market continues to go. Um, you know, Amazon uh, continues uh, to, to come out of a channel looking really good. Uh, Apple is doing uh, very, very well. Uh, Tesla, again, correct me if, you, if you've heard this before, is an absolute no man's land. You know, I'm just hoping this thing wakes up one of these days. It, it, eventually, this Tesla is going to give us a monster trade. Okay. It's going to give us an absolute monster trade. Uh, the last big move it's given us was on uh, 521. When it took out the 65 day and went to the next supply zone, that $7 move, that was a great, great trade. It, it has to look, it has to come out of this range one day. Um, I just don't know when. I, I, I've kind of stopped guessing when. It's either going to break down and lose the 50 day moving average and go significantly lower, 
or it's going to wake up and take out the top of the channel here on the 520 highs and start a big, big move up to the 200 level. Your guess is as good as mine until it happens. All I know is it's not close to the top of the channel. It's not close to the bottom of the channel. We're going to have to just wait and see how this thing uh, kind of plays out. One name that is in the same space as Tesla is Neo. So Neo had crappy earnings and now it's back down to the bottom of the range. I think this is one or two days away from losing the 50 day moving average. I really do. This thing is the complete opposite. If you flip Meta's chart, right? If you flip Meta's chart on the 50 day break, you see how many times you're just sitting there, sitting there and finally broke above the 50 day and what? Neo is the opposite, right? Neo is the opposite of this light blue line. And again, like we talked about in the beginning of the week, the last time it lost the 50 day moving average was January the 8th. And the stock went from 773. Uh, and it went all the way down to $4. So the stock got cut in half. Uh, so I am definitely, definitely watching for a potential swing. This is not going to be a day trade. Neo trades like 15, 20 cent range the whole day. But I'm definitely, definitely watching this thing uh, below the 50 day moving average, assuming it does confirm. And if it does, I think we could get a nice swing uh, in you know, the next couple of months all the way back down uh, to the 422 lows. We'll see. Some pretty good charts uh, are lining up this weekend uh, for uh, for the up and coming week. Let me give you guys uh, some you know, some pretty good ideas. In my opinion, some pretty good ideas. I, I like Snapchat. Uh, Snapchat had a really nice quarter. One of the first, very few times you could actually make that statement that it had a nice quarter. Came back in. It hugged the 34-day EMA, and now this is the first close. Uh, above the 20-day moving average, right? Uh, just like when any stock reclaims a big supply zone, uh, if it could confirm the supply zone here, if you you know if you draw uh, a magical trend line, right, invisible trend line, you'll see if it could just confirm Friday's channel, this thing could start uh, waking up. So that looks uh, really really good. Look at Uber, right? Uber is another name that's very very close to busting out. Uh, another scenario of a stock. Keeps on getting rejected here now, back-to-back -back days on the 50-day moving average. All Uber needs to do is just get back above the 50-day moving average, and you can start a cycle going into that 7160s level. So that looks uh, pretty good as well. Uh, look at FOR, right? Four. Four, right? I think, a pro I think this is a payment processing company. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is the first close above this recent channel from the 515 highs. Keep an eye on four in the next couple of days. If it starts to reclaim back this upper Bollinger Band and Friday's channel, it could start its next leg up. Uh, that looks pretty interesting. And let me give you one more. Carvana, right? Carvana, super duper high short interest. Again, the same thing, kind of like Snapchat, got rejected off the 20-day supply. We got to watch, watch this thing this week. If it could reclaim back the 20-day supply, um, I, I do think there's a shot this thing starts waking up and starts stretching uh, back into the highs. Tremendous short interest. We got to watch uh, if there is um, if there is any early week uh, option flow that comes in uh, to the name. So that looks uh, pretty interesting as well. Other than that, let's just go through some beta names uh, really quickly. You got Google. You know Google. You know very close to busting out. Had a nice reversal on Friday. With everything else, uh, Apple continues to grind higher. Again, this is the importance of uh, earnings high break. So got above the earnings high, just been grinding up all the way up. Uh, Amazon broke out uh, broke out a couple of days ago. It actually saved my day on Friday. Because of this whole Rory Kitty thing, there wasn't really a lot to do. So I shorted, uh, I shorted NVIDIA on Friday. It was heavy. Tested the same level twice. Squeeze me back. Uh, squeeze me back for about seven points. Um, not horrible, not crazy, but um, you know, again, it held. Obviously, there was still dip buyers ahead of uh, the Monday's adjusted split. Um, but Amazon saved the day. Amazon, we bought the dip on this thing. We always talk about this rising support. Uh, we got long off this rising support here. You see this all this slide it gave us a two, almost a two and a half dollar bounce, uh, which is great. I got down to a runner. I got to down to a runner up like two, you know, 230, 240, whatever it was. And, um, you know, when the market came back in, I kicked out my runner uh, up like 70 cents. Again, just wasn't <clears throat> wasn't enough 
to hold uh, o- over the weekend, especially if you know the market felt a little bit uh, a little bit heavy going into uh, Monday's session. Uh, other than that, uh, Microsoft, uh, you know, it looks pretty good. Microsoft continues to build uh, off this 10-day supply that we've talked about uh, for the majority of the week. Uh, that looks, you know, pretty good. Uh, AMD, you know, AMD still, it's, it's AMD is kind of like Tesla. It's still trapped in this really, really big macro channel. The only good thing about uh, AMD is in the last three days, it's put in higher closes than opens. You can see these three green candles in a row, so that's a good thing. But I, I think there's a lot of names that are still trapped here. And the way the market's trading right now, and again, I, I don't believe in the whole theory that summertime is slow. The last three, four, five summers, uh, the market has been really, really, you know, really active. Yeah, you'll have these slower days, especially as you're getting a little bit towards the end of the week. But all in all, the you know, the, the summer market is fine. It's like everything else. Don't let, you know, don't let social media guide you there's nothing going on in the summer it's good it's complete nonsense i mean look look how crazy the market has been uh just in the last uh, couple of weeks let alone uh this the start of summer so going into this week uh again i am definitely you know continue to be bullish i'm always prepared on both sides of the market uh coinbase uh had a great great run settling down a little bit here after you know after the bitcoin um you have uh you know you have a lot of names kind of just you know, worn out a little bit. So I, I wouldn't be shocked if we get a little bit of early uh, weak weakness. Uh, but more and more, again, like I've been saying all the time, the, the stock market has, has been dead for years. Now it's just a market full of stock. So individual names, individual setups equals individual results. Guys, have a great, great weekend, everybody. If you are interested in pivots, uh, you know, there's a, again, a link in the feed. It will give you a discount, the trial to 30 days, kick the tires, uh, see what it's all about. Uh, again, it's a process. It's not it alerts. Uh, I couldn't care less if you know. I couldn't care less about the alert thing. It's just a waste of time. Uh, if you are interested, there is a link below. And hopefully, I will see you guys uh, in one piece on Monday. Guys, have a great, great weekend. Guys, talk to you on Monday.